Welcome back to Digital Creators. I'm Rob Speaking, and today we're gonna to be working with text and pages. So if you already have pages open, um, and if you're unfamiliar with it, you can watch my first video. I kind of go over the browser and the controls of where things are located. Uh, there's several different ways you can add text to your document. Some of these are easy, uh, as you can see on the screen. A cool one is actually adding text with the dictation, which we'll get to last. So how do you add text to your document? Well, you click on it and you just start typing. This is how I add text. And if you want to control that text, you come over here. Uh, and if your format isn't open, you click on format style. And this is where if I have the text selected, I can change the font. Let's see, let's find something. It's kind of crazy. And here's where you change the size of it. Uh, your font size. So we'll make that a little bigger. This text family here only has one option. Um, and a lot of text, you'll see this is where they, you can control the, the type of face. So whether it's bold, italics, medium, uh, and each font family has limited options on what they can add. Uh, we can bold it here. But this text already comes default kind of bright. Uh, change the color. And if I don't want to use the wheel, I can always click on these tabs up here and change the brightness scale, pick a default uh, color here, uh, pick it from the spectrum or the the crayon option here. I'm not sure what it's called. Pencils. There you go. There you have it. Pencils. So there's a, a pretty good selection of uh, default colors here. But I think most people, at least for myself, I use the wheel and I fine tune it. So that's where you adjust the, the color, uh, character style. We can also put underline. Um, these are just like default styles, themes, whatever you want to call it on the, uh, the text that you want to add. So if you want to put a line through it, a line under it, but first you have to have it highlighted. Now we just put a line under it. Bam! So how do you add text to your document? That is how. You just type on it and over here in the format you have options and you can play around with them to get the style and color and uh, the look that you're looking for. How do you add text to shape? Well, first you need a shape. So if you click on shapes up here, you're gonna have several default um, shape formats here. And then if you click on these arrows, they're default colors. You can always go back and adjust the color in the format over here. And we're just gonna pick yellow, how about that? So I want to add text inside this shape right here. Well, you just click on the shape, select it by double clicking, and you can see that the cursor um, selection ends up in the middle of the box. And we can type something like, this is how you add text to box. Now, if I want to change the font, size, I'll highlight it, go over to style and we will pick, let's try impact. We'll make it a little bigger and that's good. Click on it and if I didn't want it to go to a second line, I can just drag the box wider. Let's go ahead and make it really wide here so we can go over a couple other things. So when I'm click when I'm on the box itself, uh, you're gonna see three tabs under format, style, text, and arrange. Under style, I can this is where I can change the fill. So if I actually want to go back and change the color of it, I can adjust it here. Go with green, we can add a border to it. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool. We can adjust the shadow. 
little blurry. Offset it. Angle that way. And we can also add a reflection. And change the opacity or size of the reflection. Okay, the, this down tap, this last option opacity is for the box itself. And this changes the size of the reflection or opacity of the selection itself or the uh, shadow itself. As you can see, as I go up and down. So that's how you add text to a box or a shape. A box uh, is actually similar to a shape. If I go up here, one of the controls to add in is add a text box to the document. So we will add a text box. This is how we add a text box. Highlight the text. We will change it to, so we have survey says chalkboard. And we'll make it bigger, bold, stretch it out. Now, if we wanted to change how it's arranged within that box or text box or shape, you can go to alignment and you can click whether it aligns to the left, middle, right, or it squares it off so there's no indentation and whether it starts from the top. Let's go ahead and put it back to the middle. Put middle and center. You also see that a text box is kind of similar to a shape where we click on it, just the box itself. If I double click, then it wants to default into the uh, style of the, sh of the text itself. But if I click on a box, you'll see styles came up, come up, or I can control still the text within the box. But let's go back to styles. We can give the text box a color. Let's make it purple. Border. Let's go with solid. And that's how you add text to a box and adjust some of the typeface and features color of the box. Now, how do you add text? Let's get rid of these with dictation. This is kind of cool. Um, so if you're good at it, I imagine it saves you some time, especially if you can dictate faster than you can type. And what is dictation? Dictation is when you speak, it's going to translate your words into text onto your document. And we'll go over an example. So how do you add it? You go up here to edit, down to start dictation. Now start dictation is, I guess, a plugin. You could call it, I don't know if they officially give it a name for pages. You're going to have that option there, but you still may need to, it may need to download for you to use it. It did for the first time for me. So when I hit start, start dictation, uh, asked me if I want to add this feature and then it downloaded. It was like a gig and then it was on there. So FNFN on your Macintosh is the shortcut key to start it and to stop it. You just hit hit FN once and if you're looking at your keyboard on your Macintosh uh, it's the very bottom left um, key on your keyboard you'll see FN there so you click start start dictation mine already comes up and it's already trying to let me click done because I didn't want to start it yet when you first do that, like I said, you'll have to download it. But for me, I'm just going to hit FN twice 
to start it, I'm going to say something and hit FN to stop. It doesn't default adding commas and periods and question marks, so all you have to do is just say period, question mark, and it will, won't will write that word, but it will put that symbol into your text. Example. This is how you add text with dictation, period. FN to stop. And it did a pretty good job. This is how you add text with dictation. Let's see if it picks up question mark. FN twice. Can you help me? Question mark. And that's how you add text with dictation. It's kind of cool. I don't know how accurate it is. If you used it or you use it and you find some success or some limitations of it, go ahead and put a comment in the comment below and share your knowledge. And I appreciate you guys watching. 